Hello viewers, welcome back to the other math class. Today we shall continue with our episode on probability. This is episode three. If you have not watched my first two episodes, kindly click on my YouTube link and watch it on YouTube. Good. So today we have questions that involve a mutually exclusive, that is the dependent and the independent events. Now, let's look at this example we have there. It says that a bar contains 10 balls, which differ only in color. We have four blue and six are red. That is, total number of balls, which is our sample space, is 10. We have 10 balls, which is our entire sample space. Six are blue. Number of blue balls, let B represent blue. Okay. The number of blue balls is four. And um, six are red. The number of red balls are six. Okay. Two balls are picked one after the other with replacement. What is the probability? that both are red. Also, what is the probability that both are the same color? Okay, now let's look at this situation. We want to consider a situation that we have both experiment the event to be red and also both are of the same color. The first thing to do is to get the probability for each of the balls. So probability that the ball is black it's going to be number of black balls that we have, okay, over total number of balls, or let me call this sample space, or total number of all the balls considered in the experiment. So what is the total number of balls that we have? We have number of black balls to be what? To be four over total, which is what? 10. Number of blue balls to be 4 over 10. What about red balls? We have the probability of red balls to be number of red balls in the experiment over number of all the balls considered. So how many red balls do we have? We have 6 red balls. Over total number of balls, we have 10. Then, after doing this, we can now move straight to the question. So the question says that the probability that both are red. Probability that both are red means, that is, the first ball picked is red, and also the second ball picked is also red. Both events are the same. This is what is called um, independent event, okay? So in this case, we have this, the probability that the first is red multiplied by the second is red. Okay? That is, the first is red, the second is also red. So the probability that the first is red, don't forget, the experiment is with replacements. Probability that the first is red is what? 6 over 10 multiplied by the second is also red is also what? 6 over 10. Solving this, this is going to be 36 over 100. You can have this as 36 over 100 or if you preferably you can write 0 0.36. Either way, you are correct and you can divide to the lowest term. Second question, which is the second part, we have that both are the same color. Both are the same color. That is, it's possible that the first two balls picked are both red or they are both blue. Those are the two possible outcomes we can have. So that is, it is possible that the first ball picked is red the second peak is red, that is, of the same color. Or, the first ball peak is blue, and the second ball peak is also blue. 
That is, it's possible the first two events are the same color, which is red, or possibly they are both blue. Okay? Now, writing this, let me say something. In probability, anytime you are using all, it translates to addition. Anytime we are using and, this translates to multiplication. Okay? So now, we're writing this, probability of red, red is going to be the first event is red, the second is red, just like we did at the first instance. Or means plus, okay? The first probability that the first is blue multiplied by the second is blue. Okay, so now let's break this down. Red, that is 6 over 10. The second red is 6 over 10. Don't forget, this is with replacement. Plus, that the first is blue, probability of blue will have it to be 4 over 10. Multiplied by the second is blue, we have this also to be 4 over 10. And this is going to be what? 6 times 6 over 10 times 10 is going to be 36 over 100 plus 16 over 100. Okay? So adding these two together, we're going to have 52 over 100, which is the same thing as 0 0.52. So this is where I'm going to stop for today. In the next episode, I'm going to consider another event whereby we have something similar to this. Okay? Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like this video, kindly click on the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.